Okay, so we're going to start today off. I know last class that we got into patent, learned probably more than you ever want to know about patent. Um, and we're going to set today off talking about uh, patent again. We're going to watch a film called Patent Absurdity. It's about 20 minutes long. And it specifically goes into the problems with software patents, the evolution of software patents, how they, you know, how software went from being something that's copyrightable only to something that's patentable, how software became a process. And then it goes into the problems of patenting software, which we heard about a little bit in this American Life podcast, and how, you know, uh, essentially, uh, patenting software has created what's called the chilling effect. Wink and nudge, you'll want to know what this is, and we'll, we'll, we'll learn a little bit more about this when we learn about sampling and music. Um, you know, and this happens in many, many different types of creative fields. It's basically this. People are afraid to innovate or create because of getting sued. So people will not make new software or are afraid to release new software, a new app, or release new sample-based music or whatever because they're afraid of being sued. So what it, what it has is a chilling effect on creativity. So what I want you to do is kind of just think about when we watch this is like, how can patenting and be seen as a form of remix? Now listen, think about this. Combining stuff, looking at prior art, looking at like things like Edison's phonograph, which is, you know, a combination of many things uh, that pre-existed, that did something new, that did something non-obvious, um, you know, like how, how is invention remixing? I mean, it really is. I mean, it's just literally, you know, taking what exists in the world and finding new ways of doing things, um, you know, inventing new ways of, of doing old things, um, improving upon ways of doing things we've done, making life easier. So just sort of think about that. You know, it's called prior art. Um, but you're kind of like, that's what invention is. I mean, you're really tinkering and tickering and, you know, uh, messing with stuff, tweaking, you know, etc. Okay. Um, but just think about like, why, you know, what's the incentive to innovate if there's no, if there's no patent involved? Like, would, would people still come up with cures for diseases? Would people, you know, even now with like COVID-19, like if I was a scientist and I had an idea for a cure, let's just say, or a, va or a vaccine, you know, would I do it if I didn't think I could get a patent on it? Would people try to do stuff because it serves like the social good? You know, so just think about this, just in general, does it need to exist? Now, it needs to exist in, in, in a capitalist society for sure, but are there ways of, you know, um, you know, are there maybe some fields where maybe patents shouldn't exist, like pharmaceutical drugs or food, where, you know, um, those things may have, you know, or software maybe, I, I don't really know, where, you know, can we see these as things that are encouraging innovation and making things better for us? Because remember that patents and copyrights and all these things are, you know, specifically patents and copyrights are supposed to serve us. They're supposed to serve the public, okay? So watch this, you know, just think about, look at how the algorithm works for um, eHarmony. Think about like the Bilski case, which just so you know, uh, to blow it up, they did not receive uh, the patent on this, so they, they were denied the patent event eventually, but they were basically trying to patent picking up the phone and calling someone um, to hedge, hedge your risk in an inv in investment. Just think, think about that, um, you know, um, as a method, of a, you know, with utility valve. So watch this film, check it out, and then we are going to get into licensing, and your mind's gonna <coughs> explode with excitement because it's like the craziest, dopest, coolest shit licensing is. I'm being facetious, but uh, yeah, it's important practical information, okay? 